Today, we're going to be balancing the equation of sodium sulfide, which is Na2S, plus copper 2 nitrate, which is CuNO32. And when they come together, it will produce sodium nitrate, which is NaNO3, and then copper 2 sulfide, which is CuS. I already wrote out a chart for us and the elements that I see on both the left and the right side. I just also want to say that I didn't incorporate the polyatomic nitrate. You can include polyatomics in your balancing chart if they are on the left and the right side. Just makes balancing a little easier. Let's say how many we have of each and then we'll get the balancing. Let's start with the left hand side. For the sodium, I see that there's a two here. So that means that I'm starting off with two sodium. For the sulfur, I don't see any subscripts next to it. So that means that there's one sulfur. Same thing for the copper. There was no subscript here. So that means that I have one copper. And then for the nitrate, right, the three is included in the nitrate. That is not included in balancing. But I see that I have two of these. So I have two nitrates. Going to the product side, I have a sodium, right, and no numbers. So that means that I have one sodium. For the polyatomic nitrate, keep in mind that the three is part of the polyatomic, right? So I don't see any parentheses here. If you see parentheses, you have multiple polyatomics, but I don't see a parenthesis, so there was secretly like a one there. So I have one nitrate. For copper, right, Cu, I have only one here, so one, and then the same thing goes with the sulfur. I don't see any subscript, so that means one. Now, let's just balance. Just try to balance the easiest one that you can. Let's start with the top. Always go from the lower to the higher number by multiplication. 1 times what will get me to 2? Yeah, 1 times 2, right? And the number that you stated is the coefficient of the element that you're trying to balance. So I'm going to put a 2 here. But now once you put a coefficient, we just like to make sure that, you know, everything is good to go. So we just double check. And remember, the coefficients that you use get distributed between all of the elements or the polyatomics that's in that compound. So here I have two sodiums, which is what we were trying to do, but now the nitrate number is going to change. I now have two nitrates. So I'm going to put a two down here. We're going to cross this out and put a two, but that's the beauty of balancing because if you're trying to balance one thing, chances are you might actually balance another thing. And that's what happened here. And all of them are balanced. I have two sodiums. I got one sulfur, one copper and two nitrates on both sides. So my balanced equation is I have one Na2S plus one CuNO32, which will produce two NaNO3s and one CuS. And that's it. Guys, let me know in the comments. Give this video a uh, thumbs up if it did help you. Just gets the word back to us that we're doing our job here. We also have physics and math uh, videos as well on the channel. So go check the channel out if you guys have friends or classmates or if you're in you know, physics and math, we would love to help you out there. All right. Good luck on all your future tests and quizzes. I'm rooting for you guys and I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye-bye.